My name is Stephanie Borglin. I'm an associate professor at the Hodgkiss Brain Institute at the University of Calgary. We set up preclinical models of diet-induced obesity and separately um, of drug-seeking. Obesity is a very large problem in Canada. 25% of adults and children are obese. Our laboratory focuses on the neural circuits underlying motivated behavior. And so understanding how drugs of abuse act on those same brain circuits to drive motivated behavior and drug seeking is really important for understanding fundamental mechanisms of how the brain changes with um, drugs of abuse. Understanding how the body and the brain adapts to, to weight loss and weight gain will really lead to a better understanding of how one might um, maintain um, a healthy body weight. So I'm Jewel Bergerson, I'm an associate professor in chemical and petroleum engineering in the Schulich School of Engineering at the University of Calgary. My research program develops tools and methods to assess energy technologies from a full systems perspective or from a life cycle perspective. So looking at all of the inputs and outputs associated with the entire supply chain and the economic as well as environmental impacts associated with those technologies. So I'd say that, that my biggest contribution is to improve the research and development process of developing energy technologies. The goal is to provide information early in that development cycle. The technologies can be improved more efficiently and they can ultimately deliver a solution that is more effective uh, in the energy space. And I think that that will help then to make these technologies and Canada more competitive in the energy landscape. When we can actually find solutions that can be deployed and actually have an effect on environmental issues, uh, it's really exciting as a researcher to see that. And that really keeps me coming back to look for other opportunities to do that. My name is Matthew Hill. I'm an associate professor in the Hotchkiss Brain Institute at the University of Calgary. And my research focuses on trying to understand how it is that when we get stressed, what happens in the brain to make us anxious. So the main thing that I study is actually um, the brain's own version of cannabis. And so my research is primarily focused on trying to understand when we get stressed, uh, it seems that the brain releases some of these THC-like molecules in a, an attempt to help us calm down after the stressor has passed so that we don't just stay in that state of anxiety that we flip into when we get stressed out so that we can recover, go back to normal, and go about our daily lives. I think it's a significant body of research for the most part because anxiety is, is essentially the most prevalent um, psychiatric illness there is outside of depression. We really need to understand a lot more about what it is in the brain that helps promote a state of anxiety because a lot of the more classic drugs that are used to treat anxiety are very nonspecific. They just try and quiet down the whole brain. So our belief is that if we really understand what's going on in the brain to help generate a state of anxiety, that way we may be more able to develop a drug that explicitly can target anxiety states and help reduce that without the side effects we see with the current drugs.